All right, so obviously before we do the Simpson, I want to give a really good once over on the car. So one thing I have been noticing is uh, with our tire pressure monitoring system, uh, we're losing probably about four, four or five PSI a day out of this tire here. Um, so it's really good to have a tire pressure monitoring system for something like that. So you can just see a really slow leak before it maybe becomes a bit more of an issue. Like, you know, if you're on a rough road, it might be getting pretty flat and then you can do more damage to your tire. So what I've actually done here is just um, got one of these pump bottles. It's Adrian, but it was just convenient that you had it. Um, just sort of sprays out. Um, we've filled it up with uh, just water and a bit of dishwashing liquid. And then you can spray it onto your tire nice and evenly and then you can find where the leak is so I've got a bit of a it's actually interesting I've got three three leaks um, one bigger one and two just tiny little ones but they're right next to each other so it's like all three of them are next to each other so it's kind of odd um, don't know what happened there but I'm just gonna go use a good old plug kit uh, if you haven't used one of these before I can run you through what you need to do so you got a couple of tools in your plug kit. You got the, I don't even know what to call it, stabby, stabby, stabby hole maker. So what you want to do with this is just um, actually pierce it through the hole where it's leaking. Um, this just cleans out anything that's in there and just makes the hole the correct size um, for your plug here. So yeah, I'm just going to force this through which can be pretty hard sometimes. And uh, yeah, really just twist it in and get it real good. All right, so I've managed to stab that through. Oh. So it's cleaned anything out that was in there. See little rubber. These are a bit old, but that should be fine. Ugh, sticky. Funny that. Pull your sticky rubber off. Now you got to feed him through here, which can be a bit hard. Might. I'm going to lube him up a bit. So it's going to be a bit tricky to feed through. It's a bit hard. Just got to get enough. So I can pull it through. Oh, I just got my Leatherman. It's just a bit old, so it's a bit hard to pull through. Should be a little bit easier than this. But... So you just want to pull it so it's about halfway through. Now this just has a little sort of opening in the end there. So what you want to do is feed the plug into the hole and then twist and pull it out. And the plug will hopefully stay in there. Obviously you don't want to push the plug the whole way through. You want a bit sticking out. It's actually a bit hard, I think it's, they're a little bit old. Should have gone a little bit easier than that, but I probably didn't bore it out enough as well. But, it's in there, I've twisted it out. Might trim a bit off. There's a fair bit sticking out, but obviously you can test if your plug worked by just giving it a spray. So it's actually a decent sized crack. I think I might need two plugs in this. Um, it's not great when you want to overload it with plugs, but um, I'm gonna, ream this through the crack, it's sort of a jagged lightning shape kind of thing, so I'll see if I can ream this through in the bottom pit and get another plug through it.
All right, so that took two plugs um, and a bit of elbow grease. Adrian helped me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's plugged. So I might just trim them off a little bit, not too much, and then should be sweet. Good morning everyone. So we are about to start the bins track. We have just left Alice Springs and we are heading down to Mount Dare. I'll hopefully make it to Mount Dare today. Well, I'm pretty sure we will. It's about 400 and 400 and something Ks. Doing the bins track, the Fink Road was about 370, but we did that last year. So we decided to do the bins track. Yeah, we're just airing down now because we've hit some dirt. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a good drive today. Hopefully it'll be a fairly easy drive. Oh. Right, do the bins track. Yeah, <clears throat> we are keen to do the bins track because we've uh, already done the road to Fink before from Alice. So this is something different, different road. Um, we'll keep the drive interesting. Hopefully, I've heard it's pretty nice. And uh, I mean, you see dunes and things like that. So it'd be pretty cool, I reckon. <laughs> So we are just at the turn off for Andado to continue the bins track. We're just at the community centre Teresa. And so far the drive's been really nice. It's been um, not too corrugated at all. A few bits of um, bull dust, like a few bull dust holes, but super easy drive and very yeah. wide road. Yeah. Actually very pretty, really cool landscape, cool mountains. So. Yeah, cool rock formations. Kind of reminds us of Clint's Range. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep going and see what it turns yeah, into. Yeah, we should get into some sand, sand dunes and yeah. big bull dust holes and herd, so that's fun.
favourite track so far, Ellen? Just stuff to see and the bulldust. Yeah. And yeah. The bulldust. Honestly, <laughs> this is kind of what, like, uh, the start of the bins track was kind of what I was thinking, actually what I expected the, the gib to be like, yeah. but with gib more lush and more water. Yeah. yeah. But like the same kind of that windy little, yeah, not a great, yeah, that would be, yeah, I don't know. Those, this is really good fun. Really, I'm really glad we did this track um, to Dalhousie. It's, yeah, probably it's, I, I rate it over Fink. Fink I right. think if we had a known or planned a bit, doing this before Madigan. Yeah. If you've got the fuel, mm. that's a nice trip. Yeah. Just go to old Andado, straight across. Yeah. What's for lunch? Pork roll, our roast pork, rich brown gravy rolls with coleslaw. They've been a bit of a bit of a favourite of ours this trip. Bit of a luxury. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you split up the pork, I mean the pork is like twenty one dollars or something to buy, like already roasted, so it's not cheap by any means. But I it mean, how many three lunches? lunches each. Three lunches each, six lunches. So divide that by six, and bloody, it's pretty economical. does look a bit like cat food but trust me it was a roast pork chopped up into chunks and then rich brown gravy put through it it's bloody good at the Mount Dare Hotel now. Sun's getting low, so we'll probably stop here for the night and uh, camp just at the pub here. Yeah, unreal. Love the bins track. 100% if you're either going to Mount Dare to Alice or vice versa, do the bins track. It's really good. Hey, you're so yeah, oh, it. Adrian, what are your thoughts on the bins track, mate? Loved it, loved it. 
beautiful scenery to start with and then we uh, hit the bull dust and then right at the end there got on, some, on a big clay pan and far out that was some good bull dust. <laughs> Loved it. Made for some good shots eh? Yeah and here we are Mount Deer Hotel. Pretty good. Couldn't get better. Mad. Ellen <laughs> what did you reckon? Oh yeah my favourite track of the trip so far. Favourite track of your whole trip yeah. and you've been a fair few places this trip yeah. so that's a big call but no it's uh, probably my favourite one as well to be honest. Plenty to see, lots of fun. Yeah no it was, good variety of yeah. environments, yeah. really good fun. And what's your take Matt? I loved it, it was the same before at the car yeah just good variety of scenery, um, better drive than Alice to Fink, Fink to here. Definitely better. I've done. I've done that. Um, it's worth seeing the geographical centre uh, at some point. But if you just want to, you know, come out and do the Simpson, you're coming from Alice. Definitely do the Bins track. It's a great day. Um, full day's drive, but you're not rushing, and it's it's good. Didn't really see many cars. The only cars we saw at uh, Olden Dardo. That's it. Fantastic. That was good. Just enjoying my beer now. I got my mates. This mate. <laughs> and this mate here. We've just pulled up to camp. We're just um, checking the back to see how much dust is in it. It's not too bad. Obviously the sheet had a lot on it. And then the door seals obviously have a lot. I'll have to do a clean and wipe everything down. Actually in saying that, I've just looked at the fridge. Quite dusty there, quite dusty oh. here. That was with the sheet up. <laughs> Good one. Gonna have to do some wiping. <laughs> <Very close. laughs> yeah. I did say the dust was not too bad. It's pretty bad. Look at this. All right. So just a little uh, inspection of Elsie after, just to make sure everything's all good and. One of our problems this trip has been the radiator housing is uh, it's cracked on one side and then we zip tied it up. Now the other side has cracked and the, uh, what do you call it? This little support strut like a, that holds it true. An arm. So in the count, like the support on this radiator, it bolts in the center to the chassis. And then you have two arms that sort of keep it true, upright. And Matt has cracked one in half. There. Yeah, you see him on there. See where he goes. There we go. Yes. What's that? So we'll have a little fiddle and see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to cook some dinner as well. And what else? Uh, is that it? Is that little, some nice bull dust on Elsie. Yeah, there's some good bull dust. We had some good fun in those, those bull dust holes today. We're, we're such children, but anyway, they look cool in photos, all right? <laughs> Makes for a good thumbnail. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, I wasn't going to say. So this is, a, this is the relationship Adrian and I have. Um, he's, I know what's usually wrong with the car, but fixing it is another whole step above, knowing how to fix it. There's a big difference between knowing what's wrong. Uh, Adrian usually knows how to fix something, or he knows how to make other things. And I know how to take photos of his ute. So yeah, I swap him nice photos one. of his ute uh, for um, little... Handy jobs and Elsie. Yeah. And you gotta keep the team going. Oh, it's all it. about the team. It's all about the teamwork. It's all about surviving. Surviving in the bush, that's right. What are you doing here, Hull? Just done a quick clean of Elsie and that's the colour of the water that I got. Usually I don't use a bucket uh, <laughs> to rinse my rag, but I think I need it to this time. 
That water was clean when you got it. Yeah. It's gross. Oh my gosh. What's your thoughts, Ellen? Oh, it's not as black as Adrian's foot water though. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Adrian? Nah. Hit me. She said, I go, what do you think of that, Ellen? Water, Ellen? She goes, not as black as Adrian's <laughs> foot water. <laughs> have you ever worked inside a 47 cruiser? You have to get all up in that. With your feet? Got yeah. <laughs> I've got shoes on today. It's a bit chilly. What are we thinking for this fix, mate? Mate, we're, uh... Be nice if I had the welder on board, but we don't. So, we're gonna attempt to braze this together with some map gas. Hopefully we can get the heat up. Um, it's on a right angle, so it's actually gonna... So if that's the support, it's jammed up against the chassis, so we don't need too much strength in the actual binding of this to the fastener. But we'll see how we go. <laughs> no promises. Our back workbench. <laughs> Our back anvil. Our back anvil. Just gonna get the right angle. You put a funny angle on it. good workbench so as you can see two metals are now one see what happens eh yeah all right bit of bulldust today let's have a look snorkel has worked As always guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week as we start the Simpson Desert.